Hi, this is Bill King with Water Online, reporting live from WEFTEC 2016. We've made our way over to the Ovivo booth, and I'm here with Peter Bug, Director of Innovation with the Municipal Hello. Division of Ovivo. Good to see you. Peter, great to see you too. Uh, Ovivo, always one of the more innovative companies uh, with new products every year, it seems, yep. at WEFTEC. Yep. Uh, give us an overview of what you have on display this well, year. We've got a pretty aggressive program right now, so we've got a number of things we can, we can chat about. Uh, right now, uh, one of the products we have on display uh, at WEFTEC this year is our uh, phosphorus and ammonia recovery system. So this is aimed at uh, centrate and filtrate uh, water, uh, particularly off anaerobic digesters, which are typically very high in, in uh, phosphorus. And rather than just trying to treat that to where it's no longer a problem, we're actually recovering that. And we're doing that with a, uh, an electrochemical reaction. Um, a lot of people will know in a treatment plant uh, the formation of struvite, and they'll know of it as a problem within the, uh, the treatment plant. Anywhere they have pumping equipment, uh, piping bends and whatnot, tends to uh, force a struvite formation, which is problematic for the treatment plant. What we do here is we have magnesium that's uh, got a, a DC current being loaded through it. As the uh, centrate is passed through there, we actually force that reaction. Now we can settle out that uh, phosphate and turn it into a, the actual uh, struvite, uh, capture that, and now use that as a beneficial fertilizer. Uh, we can continue to drive up the pH depending on how we control the, uh, the uh, um, uh, electric uh, load on the uh, magnesium, and we can also separate out the ammonia. And then we can get a, uh, um, ammonia in the form of gas coming off the system, which we can also capture and, uh, and uh, uh, use as a uh, beneficial reuse product. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're very excited about this. We're, we're testing uh, full scale in uh, Helbron, Germany. Uh, we're getting very good results there. Uh, we're just about to set up our, uh, our pilot in the U.S. Uh, so we'll have more information uh, pretty much every day as, uh, as time goes on. Is struvite a universal issue like across the North America? It, it, North it America is. It, it is. As, as we've been contacting plants to find out the interest level in, in the product, uh, we've had very few people that didn't ha say they had a struvite problem. So it, it, it's a constant problem. Uh, it uh, costs the plants a tremendous amount of money to control. Uh, so uh, we're very excited about uh, being able to bring a, a product that not only helps them control that problem, but then gives them a, a, a resource that can be used beneficially instead of just wasting all the phosphorus uh, back into landfills where it's really doing nobody any good. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about the economic benefits that are coming out of like capturing phosphorus, capturing ammonia. Mm -hmm. What are some of the ways that operators can actually use that uh, or, or sell that? There, there's one of two ways. If, if they have interest in doing their own uh, marketing of the product, uh, they can uh, uh, press that into a, a, a granular form. Uh, very easily. That's part of the system that we offer with the EFO system, uh, and then they can actually make it a saleable product themselves. Uh, if they have no interest in, in being uh, involved in that, then we can take actually possession of the, uh, the liquid form, and then we can take care of uh, finding uh, market resources for them and, and getting rid of that product. But again, still putting it to good use as opposed to being a, a wasted uh, uh, resource. What are some of the uh, benefits of actually capturing the ammonia? The ammonia puts a large load back on the plant. Uh, typically, the, uh, the centrate would be recirculated back to the head of the plant. The ammonia requires a lot of oxygen to, uh, to keep in control. Uh, so by not circulating that back to the plant, we can cut the uh, uh, oxygenation uh, loading uh, requirements of the plant down. So again, saving energy. So we're, we're bringing the energy loads of the plant down. We're also then taking that resource and, and turning it again into a fertilizer, a, a useful uh, product for, uh, for, for benefiting our environment. All right, another new exciting product that we have is our BioLens product. Uh, this we're very excited about. We uh, signed a contract with the uh, supplier earlier this year. Uh, we expect to have our first uh, system in the United States set up uh, within about the next eight weeks. So by, uh, by the end of uh, this year, we will have a, a full-size operation uh, at a 45,000 gallon a day uh, treatment plant. And what we're doing here is we're encapsulating uh, bacteria with a PVA matrix. 
By doing that, we can have a very speciated form of bacteria that we're putting into the uh, wastewater process. Um, we can uh, do this with uh, nitrifying or denitrifying uh, bacteria. So uh, we have uh, either mixed applications or, or uh, aerated applications, depending on what we're trying to achieve. Uh, we can also do mixed beds where we're, we're, uh, we have two different types of bacteria in there. By speciating, we no longer have competing bacteria consuming oxygen uh, that is of no beneficial use to the process. By having the encapsulated uh, bacteria, we wound up with a, a very high amount of matrix surface for the bacteria to grow on, uh, and we wind up with a surface that works as a diffusion device so the contaminants can go through where they can be consumed by the bacteria, but more importantly, we can maintain that mass in the process. We have a small straining device that keeps the mass in the process as the uh, effluent uh, exits out and goes on either to further processing or, or out to, to discharge. Uh, so, very excited about this product. The bottom line is we can now keep the footprint of the tanks down extremely small. For example, our, for ammonia reduction from, from eight to, uh, to a target of, of uh, roughly zero, uh, on a 45,000 a gallon a day tank, uh, our process tank is only 800 gallons. So very, very small uh, amount of uh, process space. And uh, it's a taller tank, so we're only taking up a, a 54 inch diameter uh, tank. Uh, for that application. I was wondering if you could explain a little bit more the, the sort of competing nature of the bacteria that you mentioned well, there. In, in a normal uh, wastewater process, the bacteria has become natural and we try to encourage the bacteria we want for either nitrification or denitrification by, by making the, uh, the environment um, inviting to that particular bacteria. But we then wind up with some bacteria that are not either nitrifying or denitrifying. So as we're putting uh, oxygen into the system, what's happening is some of that oxygen uptake is being taken by bacteria that's got no beneficial use for the, for the process at hand. So by eliminating that and getting a very speciated bacteria, all our energy going into the, uh, the uh, oxygen feed system is being utilized for the beneficial use that we're, we're looking for. And then you mentioned, you, know, you used the word encapsulation. Mm -hmm. So explain that a little bit more in terms of but how this actual unit works. What we're doing is this is an actual plastic cell that actually goes around the bacteria. The bacteria is actually encapsulated inside this PVA matrix, which a uh, matrix. So inside that, we have a very porous structure. The bacteria can grow on that, but outside, it looks like a contact lens, and that's actually where the name came from is just picture a contact lens and inside we've got this bacterial mass that's doing what we want to do. So one of our other uh, exciting new products is our uh, algae-based uh, method of um, sludge processing. Um, what we're doing is most people that have looked at algae for use in uh, water treatment and wastewater treatment apl applications have relied on algae that is a photosynthesis-based uh, algae, meaning it requires sunlight. Uh, we're using a phagotropic uh, algae that does not require sunlight. So it, it, we're able to put it in places that a lot of people would not be able to utilize algae. What we do is by adding the algae to a, uh, a sludge prior to digestion, and we can use it for anaerobic digestion or aerobic digestion, uh, we can greatly reduce the, uh, the time to meet class B uh, biosolids. And for example, we ran a pilot test at uh, Canton, Ohio. Uh, we've recently, uh, or currently, are running a pilot in uh, Akron, Ohio, uh, where the results are showing uh, on a control group, the, we achieved Class B solids uh, in um, uh, about 12 days, uh, but with the algae enhancement, we met the same criteria in six days. So we actually cut the uh, uh, time in half. Uh, on the uh, anaerobic digestion, uh, we're able to achieve uh, Class B solids in about 200 hours versus about 300 hours of process time for the control group. Uh, we're doing that in conjunction with the University of Akron. Uh, they've been uh, very helpful. They developed this algae uh, and they've been helping us with some of the piloting. Uh, so we, we can uh, plan to continue to run that through next summer and uh, so anybody who has interest can, can write to us and, and we can send them updates on all our, uh, our findings as we develop the, uh, the process further. So any what questions? Some, yeah, what are some of the benefits of, uh, of cutting time? out of that process? The, the, the retention time 
is, is, uh, correlates to the tank size requirements. So we can do one of two things. Uh, if someone's designing a new process, they can reduce the size of the tanks that they need uh, for their uh, uh, sludge processing. If they uh, want to just increase the capacity of an existing plant, they can very easily add the algae uh, into existing process and uh, reduce the time, thereby increasing the capacity and the, uh, the loading capabilities of the existing treatment plant. So Peter, before we let you get back to a busy WEFTEC, anything else uh, innovative coming out of Ovivo at this year's WEFTEC? Well, the, the uh, other exciting development for Ovivo, uh, not necessarily new innovation, but a very exciting development for Ovivo is uh, we've just signed a contract with Hax uh, to be the exclusive North American uh, distributor of their Animox system. So we're very excited to add that into our uh, family of mixture of, of uh, products and processes. Uh, and we look forward to uh, giving them the best representa representation possible in the United States and, and all of North America. So, Peter, thank you very yep. much for having us. Thanks very much for coming.